No, I mean, I mean, I got up to 88 pitches today. I just had a long first. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not about getting pitches. I just, I just had a sloppy first. Yeah, sorry. I, I just meant in the context of like being able to, because the last start out was a little shorter, and this was obviously the longest start you've had so far in the season. So I don't, I mean, the first inning aside, just the confidence of being able to both settle in um, and, and and get through like a full length of a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say so. Did you? I mean, what what did you? thing kind of happened that first inning what did you feel like was maybe the, the source of some of the trouble there um uh mental mistakes on pitch selection i just think i didn't uh you know i made a a few bad choices as far as location goes i had a few balls that didn't hit their mark and that's a good hitting team you know they they hit mistakes well and you know if that was the handful of mistakes i made they they hit them all in the first inning katie Wu, the athletic well, similar to your start in Cincinnati, it seems like the stuff is there and the results in the line just aren't reflecting it. But you were able to settle down pretty well for your final four innings. How much does that do for you carrying it over to your next start? I mean, I, I feel really good about my stuff right now. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, staying with it and, you know, coming out of the gates better and maybe trying to shut it down, you know, sh- shut the other team down, you know, quicker, not let them get on a roll. I mean, you know. We had a tough game in Milwaukee, and the team needed a big one for me today, and I kind of let them down, uh, you know, by coming out a little sloppy. But it's it's encouraging to to be able to turn that start around and, and come back and be efficient uh, through the next four innings. You know, if I can come out, if I can eliminate that one bad inning, uh, whether they score all the recording in not, progress, whether I whether they score all those runs or not, if I can let them do it in less runs, I mean I can go six, seven innings if I'm efficient. Can you pinpoint anything specifically that may have led to the first inning not being as successful as the rest? Um, poor pitch choice uh, to Turner and missing a spot on Betts and Muncy. You know, ball traveled in was supposed to be away to Betts and ball cut in when it was supposed to be away to you know just. Those, those little mistakes, and, and they make you pay for it. Uh, you know, a tough walk uh, to Seeger on a call that can go either way right there, 2-2. I mean, that's a close pitch. It can go either way, um, and I didn't get it, but it's, but it's close. I haven't looked at it, but, um, you know, that's a tough one, and then I walk him, so I put guys on base, and then I make a real bad pitch to Taylor. I throw him a fastball right down the middle. I mean, that's, that's the one worth, you know, that's the – if I make, you know, if I make a better pitch right there, you know, even if he gets a hit and a run doesn't score and I can come back and get out with two outs, I mean, that's that's the the two runs that that need to stay off the board right there, is, you know, the ball to Taylor.